Hello, and welcome back for the Good Eats portion of Explore Tulsa. And you gotta love a restaurant that has a signature dish called a yum lotta on the menu. Owner and chef Lee Brandon tells us all about that tasty dish and how he came to open the Rusty Crane. My dad inspired me when I was younger. He owned a restaurant, you know, really just seeing how creative and awesome he was in the kitchen, really enjoying the stuff he made. So I, I wanted to do something that kind of, um, you know, echoed his skill set too. Um, it didn't start out real well. When I was 14, cooking every, kicking everyone out of the kitchen to make pasta, because I thought it'd be easy. Um, but I put the noodles on the stove and just turned it on medium high. And I never stirred it or anything. And I put the raw meat in with the cold sauce in and basically boil cooked the uh, meats. Um, and uh, we had to scrape the noodles out and we're all trying to take bites. And I remember looking at my dad and I, I was like, dad, and he's sitting there with this bowl of pasta. And uh, I was like, uh, how about pizza for dinner? He's like, pizza it is. So that was my start. Um, but you know, humble beginnings. I wanted to find a concept that would match well at a, the right place. And, uh, you know, I found this place and, you know, it was just an old abandoned warehouse at the time, but I mean, it, it was like falling in love or something. I just knew uh, that this was the place and I cr crafted the uh, rusty crane to fit here. When I was testing the menu uh, with a bunch of people, there seemed to be this lean to wanting to, to have a bit of a fancier motif, and I did not want that. I wanted to be ultra casual. Um, I wanted a lot of quality in the ingredients, wanted to create a place with just incredible service, but I didn't want the top button buttoned. I wanted, I wanted t-shirts and flip-flops on, you know what I mean? We were having a really difficult time figuring out a name, and I remember I was in the parking lot over there by One Oak Field and I was looking at the building and I thought, man, if only there was some kind of feature about the building. And uh, as if it hadn't been in there for decades, I noticed the big jib crane that was used for hoisting crates in and out of the building. And I was like, ah, the big green jib crane, crane. And I couldn't really fit it together. And I thought, man, if there was just one more feature about this building. And I thought, man, it sure is a rusty old building. And the, the name Rusty Crane just popped in my brain and I mean, I was hooked, I was like, that's it. One recipe that I made for, for friends uh, just over and over again was this thing I called a yumlada, but it's this uh, tomato basil tortilla and we put all kinds of uh, ingredients in it. We have chicken, spinach, a uh, house made Alfredo, black beans, red and yellow bell peppers that we saute with some onions and garlic. It really brings out this just uh, really nice bouquet of flavor. Uh, two items that we could not have forecasted were gonna be so popular are our wings and our fish tacos. We knew we wanted to do some wings, but what uh, we ended up doing is throwing some coconut oil in with the rusty dust. And the rusty dust, if you haven't had it, it's, um, it's a semi-spicy, kind of robust uh, flavor. But we cooked these wings up together with that coconut oil, the dust. It was a sweet, spicy, kind of just, again, an impactful flavor. And those wings have been incredibly popular. You know, coming up on our anniversary, I, there's so many emotions. You know, I, I still feel brand new. You know, what I'm most proud of is, you know, we, uh, we had all the challenges I thought we were going to have. Um, but we were also blessed beyond what I could have ever anticipated. Every day when we open, I'm excited to get to do it again. And every day when we close, I'm a little sad that I have to stop for the day because it's just, it's just exciting. It's a, it's a, it's a gift to be able to do it.